The 2013 Tribeca Film Festival continues, and we're here for the premiere of Before Midnight, the latest entry in one of the few indie franchises. So you've been playing this character for literally decades. What's your favorite thing about how he's evolved? Well, just that he has. <laughs> you know, I mean, what would be sad is if he hadn't evolved. You know, um, I don't know. The truth is, it's just a joy to... Um, work with Rick and Julie on some, I, before sunrise was this kind of magical summer we spent in 1994 in Vienna and where I, Richard Linkletter was the first person of my generation who I felt like was a grown-up artist. You have to have seen the first two to enjoy this film? No, no, that's what we found out. It's really cool. Like, young people like this one, too. I would have thought, you know, the characters are in their early 40s. I wouldn't have thought we didn't really make it with anyone in mind, you know, vague feeling that maybe people who saw the previous ones might like this, but it was it was pretty cool that um, it, we, we found out it really stands on its own. I would like people would see this and then go back and see the others. That's that's cool. It, it, it moves you in a different way. And also, you know, you found a lot of success recently with the horror genre, with Sinister and you have Purge coming up, very buzzed about. How would you compare a horror film and indie film? You know, <laughs> I, I've been acting since I was 13 years old, so I love playing around with different genres of movies and that I kind of feel like it's the only way to, it keeps my profession fresh for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I keep trying to find, you know, I've done some sci-fi movies, and I like doing that. So, uh, you know, I, I just like doing different things. And I had a good time with Sinister, so I tried it again.